Subnautica 2.0 has finally been released, bringing updates and improvements to a number of features originally made in Below Zero to the original Subnautica experience. The goal of this update was to create one unified version of Subnautica's game engine across the two titles, and this has now finally been achieved. Many quality of life updates made in Below Zero have now been brought over to Subnautica, such as improved UI readability and visual quality, PDA pausing, and item bars, and my personal favourite, the unstuck button. Oh hell yeah, no more getting stuck in tight spots. This update also also brings across a number of items from Below Zero's base building, such as the large room, glass domes, and surface hatches for land bases. This is good from both a gameplay and a lore perspective, as it means more fun making epic bases, and makes the two games feel like one living and breathing world with features consistent across both. Now all we need is the sea truck from Below Zero and Subnautica to complete the Holy Submarine trilogy. Other quality of life updates have also been made, such as pinned recipes, save and loading screen improvements, and various performance optimizations. On PC, moving on land should should now be less jittery, and you're also less likely to get stuck in alien bases when in the prawn. An FPS limiter has also now been brought in, and access to the dev menu has now been changed to the shift button plus backtick. On consoles, various language options and trophy and achievement translations have also been added, along with fixes for other specific console related bugs and issues. The Nintendo Switch version has also had some updates regarding Switch specific UI and control options, as well as fixing a number of visual issues. Honestly, it's impressive that Unknown Worlds are still updating the original Subnautica eight years on after its initial release, and this update really is a labour of love for the series. No one could have blamed them for not bringing this update to the game at all, as the original experience still held up to this day, and it would have been easy to keep their heads down and simply not say anything at all regarding bug fixes or quality of life updates. But the fact they are still providing these updates for free after so much time really is commendable. It's highly unlikely these additions will result in any increased profit or cash flow for the company, while also being a constraint on their resources and developer time. I for one am looking forward to diving back into Subnautica to play with the new building pieces, and these should also fit better in Subnautica compared to Below Zero due to the original's bigger world and larger open spaces, although I think the update did break my base, as it seems to be filling with water without any visible holes and isn't draining when I close any of the bulkheads. Luckily the update includes an option to roll back to a legacy version on Steam to continue playing where you left off if you run into any issues or are playing with mods that you don't want to break. Although Unknown Worlds weren't quite done yet, they did give us one final mystery to sink our teeth into. The patch notes were signed off with the following line. We really hope all of these changes make your Subnautica experience even better than ever, and as some eagle-eyed fans might have spotted, we might have some more exciting news for you in the new year. But for now, enjoy, and happy diving. I wonder what this could mean. Could Subnautica 3 news be just around the corner, or could it be something more low-key such as adding other Below Zero features such as the sea truck to Subnautica? I personally think this could be a hint at the long-rumoured Subnautica 3, but I suppose we will have to wait until the new year to find out. I have left a link to the patch notes in the description below this video, so feel free to take a look at them for yourself and let me know what you think. So what are your thoughts on Subnautica? Nautica's 2.0 update, and will this have you diving back in for a fresh adventure on 4546B? And what do you think about the cryptic line about exciting news in the new year? Could this be related to Subnautica 3, or something more low-key? And if you've ever wondered about how Subnautica was made and developed, then you should click right here to find out, and I'll see you over there to tell you all about it.